Hello. Um, so this is everything college students need to know before about preparing for job hunting. Um, starting early is a huge benefit. The earlier you begin thinking about your career, the more time you have to utilize all resources available to you in college. Resources are all around you. Professors, career fairs, career service centers, um, friends, colleagues. These can all help you um, in your career preparation. Whether you're a sophomore or a senior, it's never too early to start thinking about life after college. Um, specifically, what you're... Hey, going to have. Job hunting can be challenging and stressful time, but you can mitigate a lot of the difficulties um, by starting to prepare for job hunting as soon as possible. Whether you've developed, we've developed this guide to provide you with information you need to prepare to enter the job market. Um, this is aimed at college students, but I think it's one of those things that can help anyone who's really thinking about, you know, entering the job market uh, right now during uncertain times. There are still jobs available, but it's kind of restrictive. But still, to prepare um, for jobs is important. So, what we have first is to start thinking early. One of the best things you can do to prepare for job hunting is to start thinking about it early. Once you declare a major or even just narrow it down, um, to what majors you may be interested in, begin looking into job opportunities for that or those majors. Um, are there jobs that seem more appealing to you than others? Even in early as a freshman year, um, it would be useful to think about those in the back of your brain. Remember, the early birds get the worm. And of course, in this case, the job. Um, so talk to professors and the career service officer. As you get to know your professors, start talking to them about jobs that might be a good fit for you um, if you had the same professor for a couple of classes. So if you're not in college, um, a good way of doing that is actually getting to get people who know you, who'd be like, oh, I think that you would be really good at that. So I've had people like um, I was talking to a staff member at the Unlimited Solutions Clubhouse who was like, oh, you'd really be good at benefits counseling. Whereas people who know me from the college um, see me more as a wellness coach and um, art therapist, which all of those careers interest me. And I feel like I could do all of them. Um, but ways of you can narrow that down, for example, is looking into internships and volunteer opportunities to work with that, doing that. So like benefits counseling. Um, that was very interesting to me. One way I was able to practice that, really, is by doing the main can work and teaching people on Social Security about their benefits. Um, wellness coach, a way I can practice that is looking at what a wellness coach does or talking to one. So number two is use your resources. Um, well, it's great to be independent, you should reach out to those as much as possible in job hunting. So this means, as I mentioned, contact with your professors and alumni, um, contact, look into job fairs and, pro and professional organizations, make a great cover letter and resume, get help with that too, because there are plenty of business professionals um, who will help you with that. Um, Reach out to friends in the professional world, make acquaintances, network, that kind of stuff can actually really help you. So three, distinguish yourself in college. So this one is more designed for the college student, once again, um, but you can use this to apply to anything really. So apply for awards and honors and stuff like that. If you get them, you know, that's something else. Uh, make yourself extra marketable by doing clubs, stuff like that. Um, that would make you stand out. So ways you can do this in the community, for example, would be not right now because of everything going on, but joining um, the Toastmasters groups um, and learning speaking skills through them, joining classes and stuff like that really make you stand out as a candidate. So, um, so number four is be realistic. In general, so many amazing things could and do happen, 
but be sure to balance your idealism with some realism. You're likely excited about not having to live on a college student income anymore, but don't be expected to make six-digit salary. Um, so, know your career goals. Even five, ten years out, what do you want for yourself, really? And how are you going to get there? And don't stop growing in your career. Make sure that you know what you need to do to grow professionally and do it. It's important to not stay stagnant and keep looking into opportunities that will uh, make you. And finally, remember the age-old job search advice. You might feel discouraged trying to get a job with little to no experience, but hang in there. Um, it may be the 10, 15 times you apply um, to different places, but that 15th time you get the job. Um, so that's kind of it. That's all that had, really. Um... I think it's good advice. It's more on how to prepare yourself mentally than it is to actually do it. Um, some other things to keep in mind as far as preparing is uh, getting yourself some good interviewing clothes, uh, making sure you have everything you need to shower, look presentable. This, like this shirt I'm wearing right now, it's not, this one's more of a relaxed shirt. I do have some interview clothes, which I will do in the dress for success thing. I started the video and then I messed up. Um, Make sure you have, like, you can look at interviewing questions and prepare yourself for how you're going to answer those. So you know how to, you can work on your handshake, you can, those are just, you know, some different ways you can prepare yourself. Um, I might actually at some point write down a list of common interview questions that I have a difficult time with. Because they ask a lot about your strengths and weaknesses. And people, some people have a really easy with coming up with their weaknesses, but not their strengths. They'll ask you things like, tell me about you. Um, and yes, you have applied, so they know your application. But they're not hiring the application. They're hiring the person. So that's what they want to know. So find ways of letting your personality show through in your interview, which can be difficult. But anyway, thanks for watching.